Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can add some products on your GoDaddy website in 2024. So today we're going to show you how to add your products. If you have like 10, 20, 30, 40, I don't know how much, whether you are selling some physical goods, uh, digital products, or even services, having your product listed clearly and attractively is the key to driving sales so make sure to follow this step-by-step -step guide and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and log into your GoDaddy website. To do so, go and open a browser. Here I'm using like a Brave for you. You can use whatever you want. Once you open your browser, go to this URL section, type basically godaddy.com, hit the enter button, and this should take you into the GoDaddy website right away. Once you do so, uh, normally you find here your username if you already connected. If it's the first time, you'll find here a sign in option. And if you don't have an account, at the bottom here, you'll find the sign up option instead. So make sure to click on it to, to on sign in to sign in into your account. If you have one, if you don't, you'll have to click on sign up instead to create a new account for yourself. And of course, you'll be able to use like Facebook. Um, Microsoft and even like Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. So once you do so, uh, you'll find yourself basically here. Uh, the first thing that you'll need to do, of course, to add a product is simply go into your username here and click on my products. First of all, to check if we have a website. So for me, I have, as you can see, multiple websites here. If you don't have any websites for you, make sure to go and click on set up a few websites or a free website to add a new one like why not so of course for us we would like to sell uh, with an online store why not continue like what is your category like as an example i don't know i'll just do games why not or gaming why not click on continue so i'll just type the name is uh, omics game instead of gaming i have a website called omics gaming and I'll have to wait, as you can see. I basically did nothing. I did not have to start from scratch. Of course, I can start from a blank page in scratch and build everything by my own if I want to. But why should I do that? Well, GoDaddy can do everything for me. All I need to do is simply check the website if I like it. If I don't, I can make some customization and it will be mine. As simple as that, as you can see, it's created the whole website for me. I can add whatever pages I want from the, uh, the suggestions that they will show me right now. So let me just show you. Uh, of course, for me, I'll just continue for free. They'll show me here suggestions or pages to add, like if you want to add a live stream page, a contents page, a countdown tamer page, a menu and price list as example. Why not? Let's just add this one as an example. If you didn't like any of those examples, you can simply just uh, uncheck it. And if you like everything, just go and click on continue to my site. And here is it. Your site is ready. All you need to do now uh, on your site, of course, take a tour. If you know nothing about like how building websites and etc. And if you don't, uh, of course, they'll show you just basic stuff. So if you already familiarize yourself with that, no need. So here, as you can see, uh, my website is ready. It's time to personalize it however you want. As an example, if you didn't like some sections, like maybe this section I didn't like it, I'll just go and delete it. The whole section will be deleted. Like maybe as an example, I didn't like this section also, I'll just go and delete it. And etc. You can change pictures, you can change fonts, you can change a lot of things, like everything that you want you'll be able to change it. You'll be able to add a lot of things. I've already made a video on how to add like some hyperlinks, some a lot of stuff that's maybe useful to you. You'll be able to find them down this, in this channel. So make sure to go and check it out. So here, as an example, once we are done with that, uh, it's time to show you, of course, how to add products, right? So if you go to the website builder and click on the dashboard here, so you can go to the dashboard of my uh, like website, of course, if I am on the website builder, I can also just go on the website here, uh, right, and scroll down. So let me just go and do that. So if I scroll down here to the bottom, of course, I'll not be, I wouldn't like to be on any section. I'd like to be here uh, on the pages section. And here, as an example, if I go and click on store, and here as an example, I'll be able to go and click on add products. If I click on add products, they'll take me here. So first of all, to create a store and start adding images. Of course, you can add a like product manually or just follow the steps here. For so example, let's say I have, I'll just go and add those pictures, click on here and open and continue. Uh, as an example, let me just go 
uh, let me just wait of course until so as you can see for me because i add three pictures they ask uh, of course they give me here three products to add so each one of them i have to give it a name as you can see from the picture, it basically relies everything. So for this, they give them a name, Panda Beer Profits, and they give it a description. As an example, as an example they give it a price. And this one is example, Moonlight Mountain Wall Art. And this one, this Vader figurine is an example. So they did everything for me. I have to do nothing. I don't even have to add description, anything. I'll just go and cl click on save and continue. And those products will edit. Of course, you don't have to add them like that. Uh, it will probably have a lot of flaws. Of course, you can add them like that and like make your changes. And if you go now to your site and click on store, and if you click on manage store as an example, so we'll be able to see uh, stuff. So here, if we go to product, let's see if the product that we just added are here or not. So as you can see, they are here. So that's good. Of course, if you want to add more product, normally you should do it that way. When you're on the dashboard, go to commerce, click on products, and you'll find yourself here. And then you can click on add, and so you can add products. Of course, if you have products like from Amazon or something like that on a quit store, on a, I don't know which store do you have, you can click here and click on import to import them as a CSV file. Import them from Square, from Etsy, from eBay, from Amazon, from one of those, or as, as a CSV file, if, of course, if you have them, uh, if you export them from uh, another store as a CSV file, you'll be able to import them here as that CSV file. If you choose like other option, like maybe Amazon, you'll have to basically to connect your Amazon, uh, etc. And same as example for Etsy, for eBay and etc. You'll be able just to click on continue and you'll need basically to connect into your store and your pro you'll be able to choose the product that you want to import. So as I said, if you want to add them manually, if you click on add, you'll be able first of all to add uh, like uh, digital or physical depending on whatever you want. You can add description to it, inventory and option, shipping if you have some, if it's physical, uh, search engines uh, to add. Of course, you'll have to add the product link so it can uh, uh, have a better line and ranking on SEO and some identifiers also like the brand, manufacturer, model number, and etc. If you have those uh, informations, you will have to add them. So an example here, you'll be able to add uh, the information about your products. As an example, I'll just add like a random one here. Let me just add, I don't know, I'll just count this as a product. I'll just give it a test name, price, $10. Uh, I'll just list everything as it is. Description, I'll just add some random stuff here and click on save. Add an example. Of course, you can add multiple pictures for the one product. And basically, you'll be good to go. So here, as you can see, the products is added. I can delete whenever I want or duplicate it. Same will be for those. So yeah, that's going to be it for me today. I showed you how to add your products on your store. Thank you for watching and goodbye.